Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in Paradise. We're down in downtown Bridgeport, California here on this Tuesday morning, August 2nd, 2016. And so I'm a dollar short and a day late bringing you my economic meltdown roundup rant because yesterday I was busy being a good little slave, being a good little slave consumer, supporting the global industrial economy, bringing down a planet while I was also killing old hippies. But better late than never. So I'm just going to dive right into this week's economic meltdown roundup rant where I go on the pages of the mainstream media in this case Yahoo News finance pages as August 2016 opens up to see how the global industrial economy is bringing down a planet and we're gonna start with our old buddy Stephen Hawking you know look at this guy guys there's one of the great minds of the 21st century apparently anyway what is Stephen Hawking uh, talking about on the finance pages what a surprise our old doomsday prophet uh, Steve Stephen Hawking's attitude on wealth and money threaten humanity yes they do it's the understatement so this is actually uh, Stephen Hawking was this is from an interview he had with the Guardian newspaper. They were uh, talking to him about the Brexit vote, about England uh, leaving the European Union. But in that interview, he kind of uh, took off from Brexit to the rest of the world. And uh, I just want to share what uh th this is the ultimate effect of england leaving the eu <clears throat> take it away Stephen. we are in perilous times our planet and the human race face multiple challenges these challenges are global and serious <clears throat> climate change food production over population puts in at number three overpopulation the decimation of other species so that's the sixth mass extinction coming in at number four epidemic disease acidification of the oceans such pressing issues will require us to collaborate all of us are you listening, you one percenters, with a shared vision and cooperative endeavor to ensure that humanity can survive? So how is humanity going to pull this off? Quote, we will need to adapt, rethink, refocus, and change some of our fundamental assumptions about what we mean by wealth by possessions, by mine and yours. Just like children, we will have to learn to share. <clears throat> if we fail, then the forces that contributed to Brexit, the envy and isolationism not just in the UK but around the world that spring from not sharing, of cultures driven by a narrow definition of wealth and a failure to divide it more fairly, both within nations and across national borders will strengthen. If that were to happen, I would not be optimistic about the long-term outlook for our species. Thank you for uh, spelling that out. And from there, from uh, Stephen Hawking to Warren Buffett. What is Warren? The many stories about this. 
about Warren Buffett. Is it Warren Buffett whoring for Hillary Clinton or Hillary Clinton whoring for Warren Buffett? Uh, why Warren Buffett is pounding the table for Hillary Clinton. Now, I don't have my bullshit detector button. Unfortunately, I left it up at the campsite. Uh, so, you'll just have to imagine my bullshit detector button. This, this whole thing is, is, is this entire story unadulterated horseshit from beginning to end. Uh, let, let, let's let's go. I, I'm not even gonna. I'll, I'll start you out, and then we'll uh, interrupt and and get to the meat of this. Um, Buffett, CEO of three hundred sixty billion dollar company Berkshire Hathaway, actually endorsed Hillary Clinton back in December. Why did he do this? Because. Warren Buffett disagrees with Donald Trump's depiction of the economy. Throughout his campaign, Republic nominee Donald Trump has been painting a gloomy picture of the economy. His message crescendoed when he spoke at the Republican convention. Buffett, however, argues the candidates who have been framing the economic backdrop as dire are dead wrong. Okay, there, there, there's so many, there's so many levels of bullshit in here, guys. So, so many uh, layers upon layers of, of bullshit piling up on horseshit. I uh, hate to sound like I'm agreeing with Donald Trump, but if anybody thinks that the reason Warren Buffett is cheerleading for Hillary Clinton is because he disagrees with, uh, with Donald Trump on the economy, guys, uh, you, you know what I would be doing right now if I had my bullshit detector button. Pull your head out of your ass. <coughs> The reason why Warren Buffett is pounding the table for Hillary Clinton is that Hillary Clinton is a corporate whore. She is a fellow one percenter, as is Donald Trump, with Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett and Hillary and Bill Clinton are two peas out of the same planet-eating, one-percenter pod having the, this goddamn billionaire, you, you know, at, at the Democratic National Convention, uh, our, our goddamn Democratic candidate for president bringing a goddamn multi-billionaire old white man, CEO of a $360 billion dollar planet-eating corporation and, and, and sitting there and uh, sucking Warren Buffett's dick at the uh, Democratic National Convention. You, you know, I, I, I just want to spew all over my computer reading this crap. Jesus Christ. Uh, I can't. I, I I can't stand it. Uh, I'm gonna be getting around to big oil here in a minute. Most of this week's rant, not surprisingly, being about big oil. But let's hit a couple of other stories before we wade in to big oil. Uh, I'm not gonna get real deep into this story. I just enjoyed this lead story from Market Watch this week. <clears throat> Earnings signal a bear market. Quote, sell the house, sell the car, sell 
the kids. I wonder what I could get for my kid. My little, my little dog almost got kidnapped today. I, some woman just picked him up and started walking off with him. Speaking of dog days. All right, there's plenty of gloom going in to the dog days of August, including one Bond Guru's latest take paired with an earnings trend that's sounding some serious bear market alarms. Um, I like this. Jeff Gunlock, who's in charge of more than $100 billion at Double Line, <clears throat> quote, the artist Christopher Wool has a word painting, sell the house, sell the car, sell the kids. That is exactly how I feel. Nothing here looks good. The stock markets should be down massively. They should be down massive, massively, but investors seem to have been hypnotized that nothing can go wrong. Nothing can go wrong. Okay, from Wall Street to Sub-Saharan Africa. <clears throat> Looking at who is this uh, foreign policy magazine? Looking at China's $100 billion in aid to Africa. Yes. This is from 2000 to 2013, nearly $100 billion in aid. Uh, aid has flowed from China to Africa, according to a recently updated database. Since 2000, China has established itself as a major donor across the continent, second only to U.S contributions in Africa. Yes. Um, take a wild guess. Take a wild guess why China has poured in, and now, you know, it's the middle of 2016, well over $100 billion into Africa. It's the same reason the U.S has your tax dollars at work. Um, okay. <clears throat> Angola, more than $12 billion. Yes. Uh, China, this is quoting uh, Yu Sun, one of these uh, China watchers, I guess. China has frequently provided low-interest loans to nations who rely on commodities such as oil or mineral resources as collateral. So the, these aid, this aid, this foreign aid, what it is, make no mistake about what it is, it is low interest loans that they never expect to get paid back in money. So it's the same that they're doing down in Latin America, such as in Ecuador, is what they're doing is they're putting up these banana republic nations oil and mineral wealth as collateral for their loans. So if they can't come up with the money to pay back, it's then China just takes it out in oil and minerals. That is what they want. Um, according to this strategy, the recipient nations usually suffer from low credit ratings and have great difficulty obtaining funding from the international financial market. Can you say the World Bank and the IMF? 
and that China makes financing relatively available with certain conditions. Uh, since Angola is also China's largest African trading partner, wow, China in turn has won favorable conditions for mining deals there. Uh, and don't forget infrastructure projects along with energy and transportation dominated Chinese investment in Africa. And take a wild guess, the coming up at the very bottom of the list for what China was investing in in Sub-Saharan Africa would be population, reproductive health, and environmental protection bringing up the bottom of the list of concerns for China. Okay, we're going to go from there over to our friends Big Oil for uh, the remainder of this rant. I've already mentioned this story in my Clueless Moron Roundup rant on Saturday. Uh, getting back to it here today, U.S. to speed oil and gas permits. So here we have all of these goddamn clueless moron, uh, limp dick mainstream environmentalists out there talking about their goddamn little uh, keep it in the ground, keep it in the ground, trying to get Barack Obama uh, in the remainder of his term, and of course uh, Hillary Clinton picking up Farrakh's slack, not even talking about Donald Trump. And so while Barack Obama signing off there on over there in Paris and Hillary taking up the, the chant about uh, how we need to save the planet by weaning ourselves off fossil fuels, what do we see? U.S. officials announced plans on Thursday to speed up permitting for oil and gas drilling on federal public lands and, of course, Indian reservation lands to reduce delays for fossil fuel companies. Uh, low energy prices already have curtailed domestic energy exploration, hallelujah, and that has put a crimp in the budgets for the major energy producing states such as Wyoming, New Mexico, Colorado, Alaska, North Dakota, and Montana, where is Texas in here, oh, uh, which receive a substantial share of their state revenue from oil and gas activity on federal public lands. So, in an attempt to streamline approvals and reduce the cost for energy companies, U.S. Bureau of Land Management Director Neil Korn said all drilling applications would now be filed online under the new proposal. Um, online only permitting would allow 90% of drilling applications to be completed.